Hi, I'm Doug and welcome to Doppler's Gear Garage. In this video, we're covering five tips for making great gear demos. Over the years, I've had the privilege of working for Universal Audio, Orange, Gretsch, Line 6, Tech 21, and most recently, the good folks over at Solo Dallas. So in this video, what I wanted to do was offer what those five things are, run that demo, and then at the end, critique that demo based on those five things and then offer two additional tips. So the five things are, one, how is the flow of the content? Is the pacing good? Does it kind of stop and start and get kind of jerky? Super important to really have a great flow to your videos. Number two, keep the crap to content ratio in check. It's really easy to have the video turn on and you're like, um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Practice running through your lines, I don't know, in the shower. Honestly, that's where I actually practice most of my flow. Super important, flow in the shower. Any case, it's also nice sometimes to be a little bit funny, don't take yourself too seriously. And also don't be stupid. Number three, the actual demos themselves. Generally speaking, especially around a pedal, if it's supposed to be something that has a wide range of applications, make sure you provide that depth of field with the demos themselves. Number four, getting back to this crap to content ratio, be concise with your presentation. When you talk about the gear, I try and have the box with which I'm speaking from be larger than the actual content I present in the video. That way people think that you actually know what you're talking about. And number five, make the video engaging. If it's not engaging, people are not gonna come back and watch your next video about some other product that they may not be as interested in as the original product that they tuned into your channel for. Awesome, let's run the Solo Dallas video. Hi, I'm Doug and welcome to Doppler's Gear Garage, where today we are checking out the Schaefer Boost from Solo Dallas. It's essentially the distillation of the EQ section from the Schaefer Vega Diversity System Wireless, made famous by the likes of Angus Young, Eddie Van Halen, David Gilmore, and Joe Perry. An amazing sound. All right, for that first demo, I was utilizing the American Original Stratocaster Into the Sky, set around 10 a.m. And the thing that's great about this pedal, unlike your traditional boost where you have a tendency to turn it on and off, this thing sounds great, always on. In turn, I was running out into the Deluxe Reverb and then into the Waza Tube Amp Expander, which I'm using for all the demos. No EQ in there, no EQ in post. What I'm hearing is what you're hearing. All right, this next demo, the 70th anniversary broadcaster, amazing guitar, again into the Schaefer Boost, set at about eight o'clock, just a little bit going on there, into the front end of the Edge Deluxe. Let's take a listen. <laughs> The Schaefer Replica EX Tower is the flagship model of the Solo Dallas line. And like this pedal, there are other pedals in the line that are kind of a distillation thereof. This product line is used by some of the most beloved and iconic players on the planet, including John Mayer, Joe Bonamassa, Joe Perry, and of course, Angus Young, and the list goes on. Uh, super great pedal, no matter what guitar I plugged into it, and no matter what amp I ran into, Everything sounded better and I just didn't want to stop playing and all sorts of music came out. That's kind of the whole deal, right? All right, powered by nine volts DC, traditional pedal board power or battery, 30 dB on tap in case you need it. But uh, generally speaking, I ran it somewhere between 11 and one o'clock. For this particular demo, I'm running out into the orange AD30, obviously using this Strat here, it's the Eric Johnson Virginia guitar. 
But the 8030 is not a particularly high gain amplifier. And when you hear the amount of sustain and just great stuff going on, I think you will appreciate this pedal as much as I do. Thanks so much for watching. For more information, please visit solodallas.com. Cheers. Overall, I was very happy with the video, but there were some things that I would change. All right, first of all, the flow. I thought that was really good. I was very pleased with the pacing of the video. The crap to yap ratio, I think that was good. I shared appropriate amount of detail, talked a little bit about the player's experience, but I kept the talking to a minimum. The demos, probably the part of the video that I loved the most. I felt there was variety. Uh, I also went deep, I decided I'm gonna do two songs where I actually programmed the drums, I played bass and I did the guitar part. That takes a lot of commitment and I was, I was really happy with the end result. I worked really hard on this and I was really happy with the end result. There have been videos that I worked really hard on that I was not happy with the end result just for the sake of conversation. Speaking of conversation, I felt the talking part was good. Again, the pacing was good. But probably the biggest critique that I have was when I talked about the people that had used the original Schaefer wireless system, I was like, Eddie Van Halen and Angus Young and so on. I felt it was a little bulleted, although I didn't feel like it, it felt like I was reading off of a list. It felt non-conversational. That's one of the things I'm really working on is kind of making it such that you're feeling like I'm talking to you. That's one of the reasons I don't like jump edits or it's been edited together. It just, to me, that doesn't feel conversational. It's one of the things I'm really working on to make it feel like we're just hanging out, talking about gear. All right, so that gets us to the very important thing is, is it engaging? Because if it's engaging, people are gonna wanna come back, right? And I felt overall, uh, I didn't come off like some egotistical, well, I know about this pedal and I, you know, I got asked by this company, like that stuff's for the birds. Nobody wants to hear you yap about yourself. So I thought it was engaging. I thought the demos ultimately, which is why people want to hear it, uh, I thought they, they really were the strength of the thing. And if I were a YouTube viewer, I felt the overall presentation would make me want to subscribe to the channel and want to come back for more. All right, that gets us to our bonus tips. The feedback loop. One of the comments on the Solo Dallas channel that was so right on the money was, you know, I really would like to have heard the pedal on and off. And it revealed one of the flaws in my production approach. I shoot all the demos before I shoot the talking portions. And the reason I do that is I want to make sure the talking portions are accurate to the demos that I've done. But the thing about that approach is it makes the blending of the playing and the talking a little bit difficult. Definitely for something for me to think about. And that gets us to the last point. Every time I shoot a video, I kind of like to go back and, and kind of look at the video and see what things I can learn from it. Because that's one of the most important things. Is every time somebody sees a video that I do moving forward, I want them to walk away with the idea of like, this guy is mindful that every video is going to get a little bit better. Something's going to get refined. As opposed to like, oh, I'm just in this process. I'm making another video. I'm very conscious of the fact that there are a lot of great content creators out there. And if people are going to want to look at my content, I have to continuously raise the bar. All right. I hope that's been a help. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for, for watching this video and for just hanging out. This is hugely important to me. 
this is how I'm really expressing myself creatively these days. So the fact that you would want to watch means an awful lot to me. And I'm here to help serve you in your journey to become a better guitar player, better musician, and a better content creator. Looking forward to hanging out on the Doppler Gear Garage show. Thanks again for watching. Cheers. Thank you.